Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about one of the most powerful unmanned combat aerial vehicles, the Bayraktar TB2. The Bayraktar TB2 is a Turkish medium altitude, long endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. It's manufactured by Turkey's Baykar company, primarily for the Turkish Air Force. This aircraft is monitored and controlled by an air crew in the ground control station, which includes a weapons deployment. Bayraktar means ensign, or standard bearer in Turkish, and the development of the UAV has been largely credited to Soljik Bayraktar, a former MIT student. The aircraft previously relied on imported and regulated components and technologies such as the engines, missile rack, and optoelectronics. The engine exports have been halted due to attention drawn by their military usage. In October of 2020, Canadian Westcam exports were also restricted by the Canadian Foreign Ministry. At the same time, local FLIR integration tests began with Asselson's CATS FLIR system on the 6th of November 2020. The development of the Bayraktar TB2 had been spurred by a U.S. ban on exports of armed unmanned aircraft to Turkey due to concerns they would be used against PKK groups inside and outside of Turkey. The Bayraktar TB2 went in flight in August of 2014. Then on the 18th of December 2015, a video would be published for the missile testing of the TB2. Baykar signed a deal with Qatar in March of 2018 to manufacture six drones for the Qatari forces. And in January of 2018, Baykar signed an agreement on the purchase of 12 Turkish Bayraktar TB2s and three ground control stations that were worth $69 million for the Ukrainian army. Ukraine received their first batch of UAVs in March of 2019. In October of 2020, use of the Canadian Westcam CMX-15D system in the drone was disclosed after Armenian officials claimed that remains of a CMX-15D system had been recovered from a downed TB2 drone during the nation's conflict with Azerbaijan. That would trigger a stoppage of the CMX-15D exports to Turkey and an investigation of Global Affairs Canada is evaluating the use of Canadian technology in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Turkey selects common aperture targeting systems from Asselson as a replacement for Canadian CMX-15Ds. When it comes to its operational history, the Bayraktar TB2 was used in 2018 in the Kurdish-Turkish conflict, 2019 and 20 in Libya, 2020 in Syria, and 2020 in Azerbaijan, and the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh War. Operators are Azerbaijan, Libya, Qatar, Turkey, and Ukraine. and when it comes to specifications, it features a crew of three who sit in a ground station. Its length is 6.5 meters with a wingspan of 12 meters, a maximum takeoff weight of 650 kilograms with a payload of 150 kilograms. Its power plant features one 100 horsepower internal combustion engine with injection and a fuel capacity of 300 liters, which is gasoline. Of its performance, it can reach a top speed of 220 km per hour with a cruising speed of 130 km per hour. Its communication range features a line of sight propagation with a service ceiling of 8,200 meters and an operational altitude of 5,500 meters and it can endure through 27 hours. When it comes to armaments, it has four hardpoints for laser-guided smart munitions with provisions to carry combinations of El Umtas, MAML, MAMC precision guided munitions, rockets on Sirius, tube attack Sage Bozik laser guided rockets. And when it comes to avionics, it has interchangeable EOIRLD imaging and targeting sensor systems or multi-mode ASA radar. 
It also features the Asselson CATS EO IRLD imaging and targeting sensor, along with the Westcam MX15D EO IRLD imaging and targeting sensor. What do you think of this unmanned aircraft and its capabilities? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on, and I'll bring you more great videos like this again in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.